see how to connect to a device or a drive. On the file menu, go to Tools, Connection. You could use Select Connection or Connection Wizard. We're going to use the Connection Wizard. And here you could select the different types of devices. Control X Drive, a Control X Drive with the core, PLC in the drive, the different injured drives that we have, CS, CM, and ML, or an injured drive MI. Let's click on the MI. Here it'll give you the different options of how to connect to it. So let's click Next. Here you could select your master communication, circles, or Ethercat. You could do direct connection at the end of the line through an engine control, a net switch if you're using redundancy, or through a third party control. Let's select Rexroth Control MLC MTX. You see how this is connected? If I select at the end of the line, you see this configuration where you need a special cable to connect the computer at the end or the last MI in the line. Once you decide your connection type, click Next. The software will show you all the devices connected to your computer. Click Finish, and you will establish the connection. Another option you have to connect to the devices is to select connection. Here you have different connection types. For instance, offline, which allows you to compare parameter files or create offline simulation, or load offline simulations from a saved file. The control unit option defines a connection through a control. Serial communication option is mostly used for EFC devices. In IP address search, you can scan a known range of IP addresses right here. So you set the range of IP addresses you would like to scan. The connection type I recommend is network search with all adapter options. And this will search for all devices on the network. For example, this frequency converter drive, EFC 5610, has a different network setting, 192.168.2.12. Others on the network are 192.168.1.99.168. But this one is different. But I will connect, and it will find all the devices connected on the network. And it will include the EFC device right here. Here are some other options. If you need, you could start a new instance of Injureworks DS. Say you want to go see two drives at the same time from one window to another. Here in the Tools Options options, you could set your working environment. You could set the default of how to establish connection when you open Injureworks DS the next time. You could set your network quality, and you could check your licenses. Injureworks Serial Setup requires a license to activate it. And the ones you see here, that say license, that means you could use that feature. Now you should be able to connect with your Interworks DS. Thanks for your attention.